Stand by for a start. Gates have opened. They're off and racing from the inside. A millionite sprung the stalls quickly. Headed off, though, by Trash Panda, who's going to burn to the lead. The Black Watch comes across. McGruddy's going to have my boss up there nice and handily placed. Fourth settling down from two IC, pulling its way forward with the pink colours wider. Then Artie's Jewels, who settled down on the inside of Flying Target. Precious Cargo, one to scintillating. It's back there in company with Blue Sand Groper. A length and a half to Clever Dick Perfirio had ridden out the back last of all is Suspectus. 1,100 left to travel. Down the back behind Trash Panda they head, who led the way when they'd settled by a length. Running second is the Black Watch with a millionite well placed on the fence. In between horses, the well back commodity, My Boss 2 IC Park, very wide. On the fence next of all is Artie's Jewels, just with a tendency to get up onto the steel. A length and a half away then, Precious Cargo over on the inside of Flying Target. Camp 3 wide, scintillating inside of those in a bunching field. A length and a half back to Blue Sand Groper, who's off the steel being hard ridden and Clever Dick Perfirio well back in the field with Suspectus. They bunch up behind Trash Panda nearing the corner 500 left to travel. Trash Panda will be the first into the home straight from the Black Watch. Over on the outside of those next of all is My Boss searching for runner Millionite. Two I see is still there. Flying target wider out starts to run on scintillating getting a split closer towards the rail. Clever Dick Blue Sand Groper winding up. Flying target out near the middle, got its head in front, scintillating gets the split to come at it though, and down the outside is Blue Sand Groper, flying target, scintillating, coming away a millionite getting a run, it's scintillating though, hitting the lead and scintillating pulls away, down the outside, coming late with a run as well as Perfirio who made a big dive, Gia got home well scintillating though, I thought just scrambled in from Perfirio who leapt out of the ground from nowhere, and behind them a millionite and also Blue Sand Groper flying target, and then came Precious Cargo, it was followed home by Suspectus, then the Black Watch, Trash Panda, further back in the field then when they'd pulled up to IC. The saddle went there on Artie's jewels and it's amongst the last of them home back there with the well-backed My Boss. Gee, another stride. It would have been a totally different conclusion one would have to suggest. But Steve Parnham, I think, has got scintillating home by the skinny margin. It was more dominant at the 50 than what it was on the line. It's about a neck. Perfirio climbed over the top of them late in the race and a millionite was back near the fence. Two 11 and six tens finished fourth. Two 11, six and ten. And uh, scintillating has held on to record just the second win of its career in 32 starts. A five-year-old by Blackfriars and out of We Own A Lady. He did appreciate a huge drop in class this afternoon. He was well placed and he was well ridden to score. 11 Perfirio. Bo Banovic Edwards down the outside. Specked in 13s to 10s late in the race and a millionite. Jade McNaught for the Durant Yard weighing in third. And a couple they backed at odds there have failed to raise the hopes and expectations of their supporters. Scintillating. For Nev and Carolyn Parnham, along with Colin Loxton. Trained by Neville Parnham. Pick up ride for Stephen Parnham. Beating home Perfirio by War Chant from La Plunge. Miss K. Anderson and S. Snell. Trained by Brett Pope. Handled by Apprentice B. Banovic Edwards. And a millionite by War Chant out of Siren Miss. For Madame's Durant Ridings and O'Brady and Perks. Edwards, Contarino, Bracewell, Anderson, Lee, Collett, Harper. And also Fielding. Trained by Adam Durant, written by Jade McNaught. Winning margin, a long head. And that margin was being whittled away very quickly in the last couple of bounds. Three quarters, second and third in a time of 142.36 and 35.35, the closing 600. The fifth event, the Tab Touch, Better Your Bet Handicap, over 1,200 at 10 after four. Number nine is out. That's Denim Pack from the next on the card. Let's go back to Mark Warwood there, beautifully placed here back in this class today by Neville Parnham. And equally, a plum ride has been delivered by Stephen Parnham to get it home for just the second time in its career. Yeah, thanks very much, Dan. And I'm with winning trainer, Hall of Fame trainer in Neville Parnham. The world and his wife fancied this horse today. Were you confident both before the race and in the run? Oh, look, I was really confident the horse had a good chance today, but uh, his record says he doesn't win it that often. But he's always a very consistent horse. and. The dropping grade today was certainly going to be in his favour and um, he went up a fair bit in weight, but um, you know, I thought Steve rode him really well and he 
took the shortcuts and it was enough to get him home. Stephen's obviously picked up the ride here with uh, Chris not riding today, so he's taking his suspension, that correct? Yes, he's serving a seven-day suspension from the Bunbury um, Cup uh, uh, interference when uh, Clint Johnson Porter fell off his mount, and um, yeah, it's been a long-going saga, but you know I think justice was given out by the uh, tribunal. You got uh, I'm Icy in the next race. Your confidence levels with that galloper? Uh, he's had a bit of a freshen up, back to 1200. It'll suit him better, and. He'll, he'll run a bold race, yeah. Well, congratulations on the win. Uh, Scintillation had a lot to uh, contend with, most of us being on him. Cheers, thank you. Neville Parnham there, the uh, winning trainer of Scintillation, the second win from 32 starts for this galloper. He's, he's much better than your average midweeker. Oh, absolutely. His prior form leading into this was all in Saturday grade. He did look very, very well placed, but he looked to be giving Steve Parnham a bit of a headache in running. He was pulling quite fiercely, so I'll be interested to hear what Steve has to say uh, about the run he had in transit. He's just having a chat to Connections at the moment, but win number two from 32 for this Blackfriars gelding. We'll just let Steve uh, jump on and, and weigh in right now, and we'll get... Uh, the word from that, Steve lining up on Fry Fox on Saturday as well. A very uh, nice up-and-coming mare. Steve, uh, everybody was on this horse today. Looked very well placed, but he appeared to be pulling quite fiercely and running. Yeah, look, he's not a very good um, horse away from the gates, and he he didn't get out quick enough to take up a handier spot, and um, the pace was very muddling. And he was in a bit of um, an awkward spot during the run, to be honest. Um, I was probably... A little bit worried mid-race as to, to what was going to unfold for me. I didn't think I could get to the outside and I could sort of see there was a horse with a saddle slipped up front and there was a couple of fancies on the rail so I sort of went that way and rode it a little bit patiently and um, picked uh, pick my um, runs through and he got there. Only the second win from 32 career starts. You've been the man victorious on both of those occasions. Why do you think it's taken him so long for a horse with such good ability to only have those two career wins? I think he's um, taken time to mature. You know, he's he um, he sort of didn't know how to win, like in his first few preps. He he sort of loom up and and not quite go past them. And he finally got that win at Narragin. And all these runs this prep have been really good. And you know the last two have been in stronger company than this. And I think he's starting to work it out and and get there in the head. So hopefully he can carry on with it. You're aboard Fry Fox on Saturday. Justine Erkelens, the trainer, has said that the mare's staying in Perth for now. You must be very happy with that. Yeah, very pleased to get the ride again. I wasn't sure whether, like you said, it was going away and wouldn't wouldn't see it again. But, um, you know, it won nicely the other day. It's um, got a couple of nice ones in the race, so it's going to be pretty, pretty competitive. But I think my horse will probably improve a little bit off its run the other day and hopefully can get the same result. Well, congratulations here. You've definitely been the punter's pal with Scintillator. No, thank you.